Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and someone else. Because, yeah, let's be honest, I could, I could do better. Sex. When two become one. Spice Girls. That action. I don't know about you, but I've personally found that sex is still quite a taboo subject. But in 2013, it really, really shouldn't be. Sex is the one thing that we all have in common. Apart from death, which is a bit more depressing, depending on how often you have sex, is why you and I are here. We share that because our mum and dads did the, the biz. That's not a good representation. Why do I keep doing that? Unless you are a science but a baby made in a pot science sex. In which case you're against God, you're against nature, you're an abomination and you're going to hell. Even if you weren't planned, even if you were an accident or a surprise, as your mum likes to call it, you were still a part of sex. Your mum and dad may not have wanted you to be part of that sex, but sex nonetheless. I'm sure she won't mind me doing this. My sister was an act surprise, uh, and when she was conceived and my mum found out, she threw the pregnancy test at my dad's head. And whenever it gets brought up as well, my favourite thing to say is you were better off being adopted, because at least then you would have been chosen. But sex should be talked about. Sex should be celebrated. It's great, I've been told. The way that two people can come together, I don't want to say it's like a jigsaw puzzle because that'd be a two-piece puzzle and that'd be boring. You'd be done in seconds, unless you're an idiot. Then you don't deserve to have sex. But also your piece can fit together with many other different pieces and maybe multiple pieces at the same time if you're into that. And also, your piece can fit together with another piece that's the exact same shape, if you know what I'm saying. Gay people, I've got you covered. The people who are homophobic sometimes argue that gay people shouldn't be a thing because they're not supposed to fit together. Biologically, that might be true, but otherwise, that's bullshit. Arguably, the most sensitive part of a woman, which, uh, you know, makes them mm, is the clitoris. That's on the outside of the vagina uh, and can't be reached through penetrative sex because that would just be downright helpful. The most sensitive part of a man, arguably, is the prostate. I wouldn't know. I haven't shoved a finger up my ass because that's where it is. I wish I was gay. I bet, it, I bet it feel great. They've got it right, those gay people. They're probably enjoying life. They're probably doing it now. Well, not while watching the video. Please no. If you are, hello back there. Hope you're having a good time. Give them a... Mmm, just for me. But, but, I've... Buts, buts. I've been doing a bit of research, uh, and it turns out that the, the clitoris on a pig is inside the vagina. So you can reach it through penetrative sex. Uh, so, if I were to have sex with a pig, she'd get more out of it than a female human. Not saying I want to have sex with a pig. De no, definitely not. Keyword was if. If I were to have sex with a pig. That still doesn't change the fact that she'd get more out of it. Which is depressing. You are too close to my face. Back off. Cheers for watching and that. Uh, watch my last video there. I also do film reviews if you didn't know. There. Click them. <sighs> also, don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Favourite it if it's one of your favourites. In a minute.